What up, y'all? Finally back with another pizza video. It's been a couple months since I've done one of these. And uh, this is something I've always wanted to try on camera or off. Uh, and that is just compare a bunch of different pizza places. Some, some major American pizza chains here. Pretty much um, all the ones that, are, that you can find uh, in Korea. So I have Pizza Hut right here. I have Domino's right here and Papa John's over here. These are all pepperoni and these are all medium size. And as you can see, this don't look too medium to me. I mean, maybe to you it does, but this is looking pretty small. In Korea, the pizza sizes are always a step down. So a medium over here will be a small over there. Um, but it is what it is. You know, these prices weren't too bad. Um, this Pizza Hut pizza was 13 bucks. And uh, I got the pan crust for this one because, you know, I wanted to go, you know, OG with it. And I feel like with Pizza Hut, pan is the OG way. This Domino's pizza here was 11 bucks, and uh, I actually got a 20% discount on this one. I never really get Domino's because it's not on the apps that I use. And this Papa John's over here, this is what they call the original crust. This was $14.50, so the most expensive one. And um, they call this the regular size, they call these medium size. But as you, as you can see, they're all about the same size. How big are these pizzas? Let's just take a look. I got a little little measuring tape oh that's looking that's looking nice actually this domino is looking nice this is looking tiny this pizza hut. and yeah they're all i mean honestly these pizzas are cute this domino's one the cheapest one actually looks like it's the biggest size it's coming in at about 10 inches and i'd say the swap of john's is coming in about nine and pizza hut is coming in at about eight but the pan pizza it might be a little bit thicker crust um pizza has six slices domino's has eight slices and papa john's has six slices let me show you a quick close-up if i can um so here is the pizza hut pan pepperoni pizza um, decent little crust on the bottom decent little bake not too not too crazy and this is, it's crazy these all came really quick within like a minute of each other which i was pretty happy for um here is the dominoes i'm liking the look of some of that crust like this bubble right here i love bubbles and crusts i don't know if you can see that i'll show it to you later uh the bottom looking pretty generic you know whenever you see those uniform holes poked in the bottom you know something's up with it uh, but again cheap price here is the papa john's pizza as you can see uh you know i think i think this got a good bake on the bottom and the pepperonis are looking well they're the most prevalent looking they're sticking up out of the cheese the most and i love that i love when pepperonis are sitting proud on top and when they get a nice like crisp to those as well because floppy pepperonis like why I, I if i had a, my own pizza place i would definitely put them on top and let them crisp up a little bit but that's a whole nother story let's just get into this real quick i'm not sure if i'll be eating all of these i just kind of wanted to compare and contrast a little bit um the total here was 38 dollars and 50 cents so um you know i think this would be a good meal for two people if you're hungry maybe a little bit uh, a little bit much for one person but let's just let's just get to eating so again let me show you the uh pepperoni well they're all pepperoni the pan from pizza hut small slice i mean look at that look at that slice mm. but small but deadly some of you guys know that this is probably my go-to pizza hut pan when it comes to like American pizza Because with the price and everything factored in this is a ripoff, but if you get the size up the large size, which is, I guess is the medium size in America That's a decent size actually uh, for a decent price. It's only like four bucks more for a much bigger pie This is a classic this is a childhood favorite of mine. I this is what I grew up eating so, you know, that's gonna be you know, I gotta give respect to that. Here's the uh, Domino's. And like I said, I never really eat Domino's. Like Domino's completely, I remember when they like completely fell off like a decade ago and then they tried to make a comeback. And I think they did make a little comeback, 
but I'm not sure. Here's that little bubble I was talking about. I don't know if you can really see it, but um, decent looking slice. Let's try it out though. Mmm. That's not bad at all. Wow. Hmm. I'm highly surprised by this, actually. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna have to go in for one more right off the bat. Like I said, just saying on my apps, I had to go through some some weird process to, to get this pizza actually. Well, it wasn't that weird, but it wasn't convenient for me. <clears throat> but coming in as the biggest pizza and the cheapest one for 11 bucks, uh, Ooh, that's that's really surprising to me. Let's go for this Papa John's. So you can really see that darkness of the of that bake on the bottom crust. Again, those pepperonis. Sometimes we get a little bit of that crisp on it, which I love. It gives it just so much more flavor in my opinion and texture. Mm. Wow. You know, I'm actually surprised how different these flavors are eating them back to back like this. That's one thing that I've always been kind of curious about and you don't realize the, how big the difference is until you eat them back to back. Mm. say though Papa John's especially with those pepperonis by far the most flavorful it's intense it's hitting me in my face uh, it's greasy and it's it's the most flavorful I'm gonna be honest after eating this Papa John's <clears throat> this Domino's does seem a little bit bland quite a bit bland actually I'm gonna have to go reinvestigate that here in a minute Everything about this uh, Papa John's is more flavorful. But maybe there's a reason why this one is more cheap. Well, I'm assuming there is. Uh, let, me, let me get some of this red pepper up on these. saying though I definitely should have filmed this video when I was doing that stupid pizza month thing
But what I'm trying to say is six slices of this size pizza, small pizza for $14.50 is pushing it, man. Even if it is by far the best one. And I think honestly, I'm starting to come with some, some interesting conclusions. If I was sitting at home alone, forgetting about the uh, delivery problem, I'm definitely getting Domino's, I think. I think for sure I'm getting me some Domino's. I'm a cheapskate when it comes down to it. I really am. You get the biggest quantity for this, the smallest price. And it really ain't half bad. Uh, I mean, it's better than 90... 95% of the Korean pizza joints around here <clears throat> and probably just as good of a price if not better so this one right here this is my sitting alone at home ain't trying to impress anybody just trying to get some sustenance and need some some good old home style pizza pizza that's what that is Papa John's, this one is when, uh, hmm, trying to get a little bit more fancy with it, you know? I feel like this one is maybe the easiest to eat. So maybe a uh, little date night pizza type of thing. It's also the most delicious and the most expensive, so that's what I'm going to... That's what I'm gonna say for this one, right here. Yeah, this one over here, the hometown, hometown hero. This one right here is for when, uh, for me personally, I, I, this is my go-to when I'm a little bit too hungover. Because I feel like it's just so greasy and for some reason I crave grease <laughs> when I'm hungover. And when I'm hungover, I don't really care about the price. I'm not trying to save a couple bucks on the price either. I'm just like, man, help me out. Please. <clears throat> so yeah, not too bad overall. I, I, I'm um, everything. All the pizzas, not too bad. Great, actually, love them. I love pizza. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have one more. I could keep eating, but you know, I, I think. That's why one, one of my arguments for why pizza is the best food in the world is if you look at it objectively, pizza is good cold. Most people would say that. Some people don't like cold pizza, but um, it's, it's definitely fine cold. It's good. I like it cold. 
it's good reheated. Sometimes it's even better reheated. Pizza. I don't know, we put it on the fry pan and it gets that, like, it gets, you can, if you do it right, you can get a real thin crust while melting all the stuff on top, the cheese and everything. You gotta do it right, there's some techniques involved, but uh, just that fact alone, like, you don't wanna save a, put a burger in the fridge. Ruins it forever. Along with most foods. Except pizza. Which is why, just objectively, I think it must be the best food out there. Uh, like I said, I could probably uh, eat a little bit more, but I'm not gonna force it, you know? I'm not gonna do that. This ain't no challenge here, you know? But <clears throat> next time when you have a pizza party, why don't you do it? Why don't you try it out? Instead of ordering three large pies from the same spot, why don't you get one from here, one from there, one from there, and mix and match. And see for yourself. Uh, see if you agree with my my system here. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, anyway, guys, hope you appreciated this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. And uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.